What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Lord Femmer. In today's video we're going to cover a classic war from your clan Dark Knights and cover all the triples in this war that helped us bring home the win including a Blizzard Mash Dragons coming in from Warlord. A little bit of a creative attack. So if you guys like the video, smash that like button for me. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, hit that subscription button. We'll get right into the action. Alright, first attack we're going to cover is from your boy Lord Femmer. We've been still using this uh, Hydra attack that Johan gave us. Uh, we've covered it the last couple videos. If you guys need the army composition, just go back to the last video to get it. It's an extremely strong attack. Um, I think I finished above 5,500 in Legends yesterday. A couple of the guys in my clan, uh, Michael, is pushing super high with this attack. So, if you guys haven't tried it yet, you gotta try it. It's so strong. But we'll get right into the attacks. Got the baby dragon up at noon. Got the king and the queen about 2 o'clock. Drop the main army right behind it. We're all in on this one. Put a rage down. Get the army moving. Blimp behind the warden. Warden ability to get that blimp all the way to the town hall. We're going to freeze up that one sweeper just in case we get a... It would have knocked our balloons off a little bit. Caused them to target the multi and the tesla instead of the town hall. Got the RC coming in about 9 o'clock to help funnel these Dragon Riders back in inside the middle of the base so we can get that multi-inferno. Enemy Queen steps up. We're going to drop a freeze on her, take her out real quick. Pop the RC ability. Got the multi-inferno. Got the expos. This base just crushed. We got the King down there, the best air defense of the game, but we still have a lot of time on the board right now, so there's just no way that this is not going to triple. Shout out again to my man Johan for this attack comp. It's just so strong. You don't even need a poison. I didn't even bring a poison. Rages, freezes, dragons, dragon riders. Gotta be the best spam attack in the game right now. Where's my man Michael coming in with the E-Dragon spam? Right away coming in, 12 o'clock with an E-Dragon, 9 o'clock with another E-Dragon just to get this funnel going. This is a very compact base, so, and sweepers faced uh, both the same way, so Michael knew he didn't have to bring zaps, and he knew he could probably get a lot of value with these E-Dragons. So we got the main army coming in, couple rage down to really get them going through, get the chain effects, got the blimp coming in, Gonna pop that right on the town hall with another rage. That goes down easily. Got the RC coming in about one o'clock. She's gonna help funnel. Queen's on the bottom half. She's hitting everything on the outside. Allowing our E-Dragons to stay in the middle of this base. Lose one E-Dragon to that single, but single targets the king, so it goes down. We got one more single to get through and one more air defense, and that's pretty much it. But our RC's full health, and she's got her abilities, so this is just absolutely destroyed. Absolutely destroyed by Michael. Beautiful attack. There's that army comp for you. E-Dragons. All you need. Behind that Hydra attack, I think E-Dragons is the second best spam attack. Uh, especially in air. Third attack we got. Your boy coming in with another triple. Uh, we got the Queen Charge Dragon Riders on this one. Uh, still another extremely strong attack. These Dragon Riders are just crazy. So we're going to start right away with the Queen about 2 o'clock. Uh, I saw the RC over there so we can get quick easy value off that take her out and then the queen is up there next to the town hall we're gonna have the baby dragon coming at three o'clock and help funnel queen's gonna step up on the king use a headhunter just to get her through that real easy real quick i think i wanted the king to actually go down towards the multi-inferno but i didn't have enough missing yet 
to get her to go down there, or get him to go down there, but that's all right. We got the CC coming out. Two dragons and a loon, easiest CC on the planet. Our king actually steps up and gets the enemy queen, which was huge value. Got RC coming at three o'clock. She's gonna work towards this multi inferno. Our king goes down, but our queen's gonna step up, get that town hall. RC's gonna pop her ability, that way she can step up on this multi inferno. She's gonna actually get that sweeper too. We got the main army composition coming down at six o'clock. Got the stone slammer with all the dragon riders and the warden. RC got the scatter shot also. She's gonna get that builder hut. We drop a freeze on the eagle artillery. Queen is still alive with her ability right in the middle of the base. All the healers. We haven't even used the warden ability yet. I think we're just trying to flex the warden ability. Queen's gonna step up, get that warden down. She's actually tanking the expo. We're gonna pop the warden ability. Still have, I think, all of our dragon riders alive. Got cleanup troops at the bottom working. We flex the freeze and an invisibility, essentially. Didn't even need it for the queen. We probably could have used it on the town hall to save our unicorn, but that's all right. So we crush this base. A little bit of a teaser style base. Queen charge from the side. End of the town hall. That's the safest spot. There's that army comp for that queen charge dragon riders. You guys want the link? It's in a previous video. All right, and this is the attack we all wanted to see. A little blizzard mass dragons. Warlord is a town hall 13 attacking up on a little bit of a rush town hall 14. Um, but that's okay. Still a Town Hall 14 nonetheless. Got the Blizzard, or the Blimp coming in from 1 o'clock. Oh, I think he popped out a second too late. I don't think he wanted that to be in the Town Hall compartment. Possibly did, but he actually still got really good value off that. Even though we lost our Wizards as soon as that Town Hall popped. We still got the Scatter Shot. We got the Enemy Queen. We got the Town Hall. I mean, we still got good value off that. That was actually good value, and good funneling value, too. We're going to put a dragon up at 12 o'clock to lure the CC up there. Yeah, this clan had a lot of double dragons in their CC. It's kind of just an easy CC to get through. Got a couple dragons that are just going to take out those dragons. Real quick, real easy. We actually got to save the hound because of where the town hall was located. Got a couple more dragons down at 6 o'clock to funnel. So, I, oh, we're just going to go straight through the middle. So, we're, okay, so we funneled the bottom with the king and the queen, a couple dragons. Got a couple dragons up top still working. And then the main army is just going to come right through the middle with the warden. We, Lava Hound pulled three seeking air, mine, air mines on her way to that uh, air defense. We freeze up the scatter shot in the RC. The funnel was perfect. Now we're just walking through the middle. Air Sweeper is going to slow us down a little bit and knock us back, but the RC is actually right there with the army too, so she takes on that air defense real quick. Queen ability is still active, RC ability is still active, we got two air defenses to get through and a multi, but these dragons have so much health it's not even going to matter. RC ability gets popped, so she targets the warden, or the warden, the eagle, with the warden on the back side. Nothing to clean up because the dragon's already got it. That's a good thing about using a dragon funnel. They're going to attack everything. What a good attack. A little creativity from Warlord. Saw the opportunity with the blizzard. Got the value he needed. Did a little funnel at noon at 6 with dragons. And then just sent the army right through the middle. Right behind where we blizzard. Nice attack by Warlord. That's there's that army composition. Army composition. If you guys want to give that one a chance. All right, guys. It's gonna do for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today. As always, if you guys like the video, smash that like button for me. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit that subscription button, and we'll see you next time.